Okay, folks, welcome back to Wooden Toolman's channel. So I've been playing around a little more with this uh, with this gearbox here, and what I did was actually I added an extra cog here, an extra pulley to slow it a little bit more, and this seems to be spinning about the right speed now. I've got a mark on this, and I'll just I'll start this thing up and uh, and let you see it running, and you'll see that it's spinning quite a bit slower now. So see my mark there. So it's spinning less than way less than 60. I'm guessing somewhere is between you know, 35 or maybe 40 RPMs, which lining it up with my other, with my power feeder for my uh, my router table, it's spinning just about right now. Uh, so the next stage of this game is, you know, I've got to kind of make this a little bit more compact. I think I'm going to try to move the motor to the top, and then I've got to um, I've got to get some longer bolts or some some longer shafts here because I've got to add. A little pulley to the side of this thing now, or a little sprocket, because the uh, the router table runs off of chains, which is the best way of doing it. So I'm not going to switch that. So um, I've got to get this a little bit thicker so that I can add one more stage to this. And I figured out a simple way to add these little pulleys. I I've got a bunch of these little sprockets around here that got some little ears on it here and uh, you know they fit on their 3.8 these ones here but I, I'm gonna have to pick up one with a 5.8 shaft and then it'll just slide through you know I figured that I could just slide it through the wooden pulley with the shaft and then add a couple of screws here so that when it runs up against it that's gonna lock it as you can see here and then that'll enable it to spin the chain off of one of these wooden pulleys in kind of a neat way or a real simple way is all it is a real simple and fast way to hook it on so then this set of chains will run down to another two sprockets which will connect the little rubber wheels to run the power feeder for the table or for the uh, for the uh, router and you can see here's what I'm talking about right here this is my little router feeder here it's just a simple set of wheels that will enable me to it just makes the router hands free and I've got a video showing this uh, if you look at my other videos about the router feeder and that's what I'm going to try to make you know this one's got a a gearbox here down inside of there and uh, it just makes it a little bit uh, it makes it a lot more expensive to build a gearbox a couple hundred bucks uh, this thing I'm gonna try to make this you know, kind of simple setup here that I've got for you know under under 50 bucks for sure uh, be should be well under fifty dollars because I'm only into this little power feeder now for uh, a little more than 20 bucks because the belts I got were five dollars each and uh, the motor is basically free because everybody's got them floating around and a little bit of scrap wood and you can see that this thing's spinning a few bolts and I've run this like an incredible amount so far and it's not wearing any this is just running just beautifully and it doesn't get hot like the bolts are staying and I had it apart and it's not wearing any so uh, I'm not even going to bother putting bushings through it you know and if you think about it MDF is one of the densest woods there is <laughs> and if this is oiled well, spinning on an absolutely smooth shaft, it should take forever, really, to wear out. And then, and when I build the real one, I'm actually going to build a set of adjusters into this too. So, anyhow, just a quick video to show I made a little bit more progress. I don't have a whole lot of time to work. So I got to build kitchen cabinets at the same time. But when I can break away for a few minutes, I kind of break away and tinker with this thing. And uh, and this is just another video to show you. A little bit of progress so thanks for watching and hopefully you're enjoying these